Hello and welcome to this uh, Big Brother reunion for series 12 of Big Brother. It was the first series on Channel 5. So uh, on today I'm joined by three of the housemates from the series. Don't forget to come back on Friday for our Big Brother 13 uh, reunion. It's one not to be missed. I hope you enjoy. If you do, comment, like and subscribe. So uh, welcome to this very small reunion. It's one of the smallest ones that we've but, done because people just for some reason didn't want to... Uh, can anyone hear reunion. me? Because my connection... Even selfish, that's why. And Alex, we can hear you. Can we can hear, hear you. There you go. Uh, but I'm so glad because I think we've got a good lineup here. I think, um, it, yeah. I think Alex is frozen. Point. I think Alex is frozen there, isn't she? You frozen, well, Alex? Right now. Oh, there she is. There she is. I can see her now. Perfect. So let's say hello to Anton. Hi. How are you doing? You've I'm, literally I'm, I'm not changed so at all. My screen is like my screen. Are you freezing? You can hear us. So let's say hello to Alex. <laughs> can you hear us, Alex? <laughs> Alex, can My you hear us? Hi, Alex, shut your Wi-Fi on. My connection is so bad. Where are you in the countryside? Yeah, like, where, like, where are you, where no, are you you're living? In the country, Newcastle, like, right? Like, what that? You're in the countryside. Nah, nah, not anymore. Yeah, I, yeah, I said I'm sorry, yeah. I'm in New, I'm from Newcastle. Yeah, new yeah, yeah, I know. Are you still there, though? Stop the tune. Yeah, can people hear me? Because I don't think people can hear me. No, no, we can yeah. hear you, babe. It's just a bit... It's, Alex, it's just a bit Again, delayed. It's, since, it's just a bit delayed. It's, it's, it's since the dance point. It's just gone, like, so quickly. You dare blame me for this. <laughs> well, let's say hello to Arden. Um, I, sh I sent you a picture the other day where I met Arden? you. Arden? <coughs> Who's Arden? I, what is What is it? A den. A den. Yeah. I sent you a picture, didn't I, of when I met you years ago and how different yeah. do we both look? Oh my God, I was a proper wannabe gangster. <laughs> 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 what I did want to um, ask everyone was this series was the first series on Channel 5 um, and there was a lot of pressure. I mean, you guys really had it from the critics because obviously the show we all thought as fans had finished. Um, Channel 5 brought it and it came back. So entering that, you were kind of automatically getting critiqued more so than probably uh, the fewer series prior to that. You would have had it worse than everyone else. So uh, how did you feel about going into the house? Were you nervous about that aspect of it? So starting with you, Anton. No, um, I wasn't nervous. I was excited. That was the first one on Channel 5 because I felt like we'd all watched Big Brother and Channel 4 and it was the, especially the first couple of series on Channel 4 was incredible. Um, and I felt like maybe towards the end of the Channel 4 series, it was maybe losing its appeal slightly. Um, and I thought by us being the first on Channel 5, it's sort of like rebranding. I thought yeah. it'd be, people will be excited again. They'll jump on it again. So I was, I was pretty honoured to be part of the first one on Channel 5, to be fair. And you know when you, were, you had the experience of walking through, so you got the crowd, you got the paparazzi, uh, Brian was the host, wasn't he, of your series? So, you know, you meet Brian. Brian. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. was that whole experience like for you? It was amazing. Is that uh, I'd still say now one of the best experiences, definitely up there, top five experiences ever. Just that walking out, yeah. I think just walking out, going on to be brother. I'm sure these two would agree that was amazing. Your amazing. son tops it. The what? I said your kid tops it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Having my son, yeah. <laughs> um, Alex, what about you? What was it about Big Brother that made you want to go on it? Um, probably because I was like a massive super fan, like I was, I literally grew up watching Big Brother every summer, I was just like the, the, the thing to watch and we used to get like all the family round and the neighbours in and it was just something that was on my TV. You froze, I think. So when I just applied. Yeah, yeah we my can hear you now, there was a connection problem then. Yeah, the connection is really bad. Um, I just, I was only 18 when I applied, so I just thought I'd just oh. give it a go and see what happens. Very young. And yeah, what about you, uh, Adem? Yeah. What about you? What was it about the show that made you want to play? Because do you know what? I really liked you in that. See, I'm a, because... I'm a bit different. I'm a bit different. See, for me, I'd never watched it. I knew my mum used to watch it, but I never watched it. And my mate, actually wanted to go so i went like for a bit of banter after a night out and uh it was at the emirates i've 
been a lifelong Arsenal fan, so I thought, ooh, I can see the Emirates. So I, I went completely blind and then uh, progressed all the way through and just kind of enjoyed the moment. And I remember telling Anton and Alex about this in the house. I remember. Uh, yeah, I, I just went for a giggle. I literally just went for a giggle and I always treated it that way. Uh, yeah. Because you went in there and some of the housemates didn't know how to take you. I remember watching, they, they weren't sure what to make of you because you went in with <coughs> kind of your swag walk, your hat, and they, <coughs> they just didn't know who you were. So what, what were your initial reactions to your housemates? Because there were so many big characters in there at that time. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I always kind of want to get along with everyone. It's uh, something I had from a younger age. Uh, but... I kind of latched on to a couple of people. And the things you don't see is a lot of people are close to everyone because um, you need to make a show out of it. So for me, I'd always speak to Alex. I'd speak to Tom. I'd speak to Anton. I'd speak to Jay. I'd even speak to Aaron. Uh, obviously, Rebecca as well, which, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but, um, don't, don't. But, uh, yeah. So I, you kind of have to make connections with people quite early on. And... I just I connected with everyone and I like the fact that Alex was young like me like I was just turned 19 Alex was 18 like we could relate on a lot of stuff you look great by the way now Alex seriously you look oh, lovely thank well, you. Done, <laughs> well done well done didn't she look great back then then no? <laughs> well, the spray, the spray tans might not have helped yeah? like, like, like well, the the <laughs> well maybe it was it was a, it was a look I can't talk. Look, I've, I've changed was, a lot as well. I've changed a lot as well, so yeah. I can't talk. But, uh, you, you both are great. You both are great. Yeah. Oh, thank you, <laughs> and you look like a man. You look like a man. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you mentioned there, um, obviously, Rebecca, um, and we couldn't get you on the reunion without talking a little bit about that. So did you ever anticipate finding romance in the house when you, know, when you went in? Yeah, I did. You went, what you thought you were going to find someone? I thought I'd find like a little peng thing, something I can like talk to. <laughs> and what happened after the house? Because I, I thought you left the house, you two. Was it not that obviously the happy ever uh, after between you both? It was cool for about a week. And then we realised we live 300 miles away from each other. And then the, the reality starts to set in the fact that I'm nine years younger than her. <laughs> so uh, it, it was kind of inevitable. But uh, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. That's all I'll say. When I messaged to see if she wanted to come on, I said, oh, you know, we got Aden on the show, so maybe that's why <laughs> Rebecca's not on the call. No, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I'll give her a prop. She's obviously moved on. I've moved on. Like, and I, I wish everyone the best of luck. <laughs> so that's all there is to it. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't think, I don't think uh, us three would be an issue for anyone coming on in that series. Uh, yeah. Other Because, uh, you know, as much as... You know, there was there were times in that Big Brother series where, tensions. yeah, there might have been some tensions between I don't know the likes of maybe me and Aaron, um, me and Faye because she's with Aaron. You but, and people, but I've, but I've uh, <laughs> no, but in general, I think um, people wouldn't. I don't know if people saw it outside, but you two should be able to remember. But inside the house, I think for the first four weeks, a lot of people inside were saying I was one of the favourites to win. Because yeah. I was you and I, me, you yeah, and no, me. But, no, but Alex, I don't know if you remember it. Is, <laughs> as, as in, I never, I literally never got nominated other than by like you. <laughs> like, no one was not like no one was nominating me. Yeah, um, but can you? Can I just say I was? I never faced the public vote. Oh, right? did, oh okay. I never faced the public vote oh. apart from final. So you know, that, give, if, we're saying, if we're saying I, anyone, you know, I will give you that. I will give you that. Because but, you're very likable, Alex. You are yeah, very yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, to be, yeah to, be, to be fair though, that makes sense though because you're in there, no one like hated you, mm. um, and yeah. I don't know what, and the public wouldn't hate you, um, because no. yeah, you're a lovely person. Oh, thank you. I just uh, although the weirdest thing about what, what took its toll on me was because because I never got to face the public vote, I didn't understand how I was like how I was coming across. Yeah. And how you what, received, and yeah. What, yeah, and what people thought of me. So yeah. it was really, really overwhelming just to even like when I realised I was actually in the final, I was like, Whoa, like is Alex. Like, how? Like I still Alex. even even now people are like how and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. What watch are you wearing? 
I've had this for like a long time. I got I got this from twenty first. So. A little date to you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice one. I, 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 I've got my one on anyway. I can't talk. But, <laughs> hey, good girl. You know what I wanted to um to ask you is in regards to the tasks that you did during your time in the house. Is there one that stands out as being like your favourite? Every time you just think. Yes, back no. Back? Yes, no. <laughs> what is it for you? I can't remember anybody else's yes no challenge apart from the spray tan. I don't know what any, I don't know what anyone else done. You mahogany. Yeah, <laughs> that spray that spray tan moment was mostly one of I, the most memorable yeah. parts of That's our one series. Of the best moments of my life. M mo it, like I think it most probably was the best moment of our series, right? I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's been yeah. voted. It's been voted. It's been voted. It was on as well. I think I seen it on like a Channel Five thing, like top, um, yeah. like top. Like, you beat my rapping, <laughs> and that's saying so. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't win the show, Alex. You, when we, as a viewer, we just assume you were going to win because Aaron was a, a very nice guy. But I mean, just my personal opinion, I wouldn't have put him as a winner at all. Uh, yeah, there wasn't much about him that was I would would put up there as a worthy winner. So I think we all, and maybe that's why you didn't. I think everyone kind of thought it was a safe bet that you mm. were going to win. Mm. And yeah. people will pick up the phone and vote because you'll think, oh, now she's going to win. And then obviously. Yeah, she's done it anyway. I don't need to vote. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. I, when, yeah, when, I, yeah. when I came out of the house, obviously earlier than Alex, um, yeah, my friends said that Alex was going to win. They, they all said, look, my mate said it as well. They, they, they all said Alex oh, was going to win. I, I, I feel, but you know what? I think we're all winners, though. I mean, if you think about it, and I know it sounds really like. Like super nice thing to say but you know we went on this show we all had the same experience and i was just happy just to even make it past week one at least i wasn't week one first out so you know Tashi, we're all... poor girl Tashi, uh, <laughs> Tashi. <laughs> you know i don't i don't think so she does i don't think she deserved Tashi. to go out week one to be fair. Was <laughs> i was quite surprised that she went out week one I was. was it a vote to save in your series as opposed yeah. to a bit oh yeah it was it was yeah. vote to save. Was but it? i never got to face it so yeah it was vote to save man no what was it? It was vote to save, yeah. yeah. That yeah. always, you normally get, um, when it's a vote to save, that normally messes it up. You don't get the strong yeah. characters. Vote out. to save, what, in the first week, was it? Yeah. No, whole time. Whole the whole throughout, all throughout, it was vote to save, I think. No, because I remember yeah. each week giving two nominations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, the public, <laughs> G, the public. So, oh, the public, oh yeah, the public, sorry, yeah, yeah. I um, don't know, Adam. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we could have yeah. convinced you that you spent your entire time in the house, actually. You were thinking you were putting people up for eviction, but actually you're saving them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> remember that? Remember the music video that they owned? Um, yeah. You were King Ant on or something? Yeah, yeah. Oi, that was a 10. That was a you, 10. You all loved mugging me off that day. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we got Nando's. We got Nando's, yeah. so it's calm. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah, did. It was, was fun. So Anton, I remember, I remember the uh, pizza and beer task just before I got evicted. So it was the day before, and it was so nice to win everyone pizza and beer <coughs> just before <coughs> I left. I felt like it's a nice parting gift. Mm. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, nice. Good, that was good food, I, I, I remember picking up Tom and running across the garden. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, Anton, uh, start, I want to ask you, what did you find the most difficult about your entire uh, journey in Big Brother? Was there something that stood out for you as just being tough and hard to handle? No, do you know what? It, <laughs> I, um, I went in, so, like then, like, I, I did watch Big Brother, but I didn't watch many. I, I watched a couple of the classic ones, early ones, and I went in for a laugh. And I, I, just want, I was just happy to be part of the experience, right? But what was hard was... Um, I think for me, it was around four weeks in. I think the first four weeks, I actually just did Big Brother by... I was fully aware there were cameras on me. Fully aware for the first four weeks. Mm. And then I think I hit the four-week spot where I was like, wow, I've been here for four weeks, which is more than I thought. I didn't want to go out in the first week. And then... I, and then that was and then everyone's I, thing. Don't yeah, go out in the first yeah, week. Yeah, that was bad, yeah. And then I just, and then I just sort of like stopped, stopped caring about the cameras and... Things just started falling apart from four weeks for me, really, because as much as I know Alex says, oh, no, yeah, I think both of you will be like, oh, no, he wasn't, he was never going to get anywhere near the final. But and I gave I, your mum a cuddle. By I, your instruction, I gave your mum a cuddle. But, <laughs> but actually, in the first four weeks, I can't remember it now because I didn't watch it, but I remember, I'm sure, I only had like one or two nominations in the first four weeks. I think it was weeks. two. I think it was two. 
in to- in Man. total in total I, I had a I think two or three of those weeks I had no nominations and it was I was up I was up the noms in the third it, week mate it was it big sh- it shows how quickly things can change because from week one from day one even my friends told me the public did not like me they didn't like me right <laughs> but but the thing is it doesn't matter if the public don't like me if I'm not up right yeah <laughs> so, true, so, true. so the public are like this guy's Alex. a clown but I'm, true, up, Alex. So I'm laughing ha, ha, I'm not being nominated ha, because everyone inside other than Aaron um no one hated me other than Aaron Harry disliked you man so, no me and Harry were good friends until I put the ink in his bath yeah, <laughs> I got blamed for it. Yeah, yeah. So, so me and Harry, me and Harry was, he was one of my best. Things. Harry was one of my best friends until we put the ink in. So it all. I just, got blamed for the whole thing. No, no, you didn't. I got in trouble for that. I got in trouble. Bro, he literally called me a prick, and I was. Well, I tell, I tell you, what was a big shock though. Is when we were both <laughs> when we were both up for nomination, and you went out, and not me. I know you got really upset. Yeah, that yeah. broke my heart. That actually shocked. broke my heart. I was shocked because. Bro, you start thought, walking thought, up the stairs. I told you, bro, come back, relax. I'll give you. I thought you were more. You'd be more popular than me, mate. Come on. Listen, it wasn't that I was more popular. More people <laughs> voted to save you, you cheeky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, why though? Why? 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 Because you're the villain. I do miss it. I do. I do. I do miss the promo. Yeah. How long has it been? Nine years. Nine years. Nine years and in. What yeah. was it September? September. Like, yeah, yeah. It feels like yesterday, guys. And Alex, I, I, still, I still remember chilling in the Lucas. Sorry, Lewis. No, Sorry, I was going to say I was going to ask both of you, Ab, Adam and Alex. What were your kind of toughest moments? Is there something that stands out? Go, Alex, first, man. I've spoke way too much. Alex, <laughs> Alex what, go on, Alex. What, um, by the way, Alex, can I say when I asked, invited you onto this, um, I had to really look at your picture on social media to make sure it was you because you've changed so much. I was like, this, uh-huh. this can't be her. Because I looked, I remembered <coughs> you from the fake tan, the hair, and now you look amazing. Just so, call yeah. her fit. <laughs> call her fit. <laughs> I suppose um, you have said that now. Well, well <laughs> um, yeah. Like, I, I feel like the coming out, I think the toughest time was probably the, the aftermath of it, not so much when I was in there, because I had an absolute blast in there. It was, like, amazing. It was probably the the um, the, the, the aftermath of it and, the, like, the more mental side of it. Um, and Death just cope. Death yeah. Suck. yeah. Yeah, just what coping with being... Yeah. I think just when you were just all through in the public eye and then yeah. kind of just adjusting to normal life again and oh, being yeah. how I can only describe it as being up here and then just eventually just... The like, bubble gets popped, in it? And, the bubble uh, gets popped. Yeah. and I think I found that quite difficult. Do you get any support, you know, with that when you leave? Is there someone <laughs> there with you for a few months or so? Nothing. Um, I, I, I got in, t- in touch with Gareth possibly like uh, maybe a year after. <laughs> um, but other than that... Oh. No, I had to. Get, I got professional, professional help. <laughs> wow, that's it's important. Because you look at the likes of Love Island and like that. Well, I knew Mike. Suicide. I knew Mike. I knew yeah. Mike. It's crazy, right? From ends. He's from ends. Mm. Mike's so, Edison, uh, boy, bro. I'm Enfield. Over mm. to you now, Eden. What What did you find uh, most difficult about your experience? What inside and out? In general, so when when you think, uh, probably inside the house, is there something that that you remember as being kind of a difficult moment? Uh, I missed my family quite a lot. I'm very close to my family, always have been. So I miss my family a lot. And then uh, my love to your mum, yeah. Hey, bruv, all day my mum knows you love her. And send my love to your mum as well, (laughs) G. Don't worry about that, bruv. I gave her a cuddle for you, bruv. Yeah. (laughs) I thought he was ripping into you then when he said, give my love to no, you. No, 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 I realise it's genuine. Like genuine, genuine. We got yeah, I know, I know his mum as well. His mum's good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice yeah. one. So, basically, what I found difficult was family aspects. And then, uh, yeah, we, we came from the wild, wild west of Twitter. This was pre-internet laws. <laughs> Mate, after a while, it does get to anyone. And there's only so many times I can turn around and be like, listen, the cameras are... 15 foot up. Everyone thought I was 5'9". I'm 6'3". Like, I will kick your head in. And it's only so many times you can deal with that before it does start to get to you. And Anton will be key to this, bruv. You know how big I am now, yeah? Like, it winds you up. And I started biting back. And that's the worst thing, because then people are like, oh, yeah, it's a troll. It's like, no, this, your mum. Yeah, like, your mum's a slag. Allow it. But it... 
it starts to get to you. That was the one thing that starts to get to me was the online <laughs> stuff. And it, it took a while to get over. And then, uh, yeah, beyond that and just missing my family, that was about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you're like a mini Rambo. <laughs> Anyone who trolls you. <laughs> mini Rambo. Out. I'm totally <laughs> slow, bro. <laughs> Oh. I have, um, now I'll ask you uh, for each of you what's your favourite moment something that stands out as one of your funniest moments when you think about your in, uh, whole experience so starting with um, Anton well funniest moment is from the top of my head would most probably be being in the <laughs> everyone thinking I was in <laughs> evicted of being in the graveyard with Jay <laughs> oh that was sick oh that my was God. sick that actually, I think actually that made me slightly less hated with the public that saved me a little <laughs> bit it gave me a, a, bit of, a bit of popularity uh i think honestly i think if i'd got victor before that graveyard thing i would have been burnt alive when i came out but, mate, um, mate, it would have been joan of arc but when i came out that's all everyone spoke about with me the um the graveyard thing it was fun yeah that was funny that was yeah. funny that was hilarious that was hilarious <laughs> i think my, my, my probably one of the funniest things i remember is is one well, even what I loved much about it was just my relationship that I had with Tom. Yeah. Um, and we just used to play together and keep yeah. each other entertained. You and two were so lovely to be But around. we used to have so much fun together. Like, like the best. You're like funny. you'd lift the mood of the house. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like my best, but he was my best friend. So yeah, we used to have a lot of Tom fun Tom would just together. go around humping people. Like, he'd <laughs> yeah. come over and just hump me in his, in his wife front. I'm like, blood, really? <laughs> <laughs> they like, come on, it's fun. I'm like, fun. and then I used to be there, I used to be there like, woo! Oh my days. <laughs> Sat there, it's like, look, man, like, I love, I love the kind really. of happiness about it, the organicness of it. You, you know, know what's mad though? You know what's mad? Just before, just before then goes, sorry to cut across. I got you along, said, you might remember, Alex, I got along with Tom really well. Yeah, you did, um, yeah. Everyone I, did. We all yeah, did. Yeah, I got along with Tom really well. And actually, when I think about it, and I think I've mentioned this to you before, ages ago, maybe in the house before I left. I think I spoke to you less than everyone. Mm. I think I think you said it as well. well. I spoke to you less than everyone. I think, yeah, I, I think I, so. I've, not, I've not spoken to, to to anyone, to no one. I'm not on social media. No, I mean, I, I mean, in the house, in the house. Oh, in the house. Yeah, because um, I think I think you even said it. I'm sure I've seen you say it. Like you, I think you nominated, nominated me once, saying I don't really speak to Anton. So don't. Really yeah, I think when it got down to like. Yeah, when it got to like the last few I mean, nominations and the people and the group was getting smaller and yeah. the nominations were becoming a bit more difficult, I think I had you up there as probably one of the least out of the, the five yeah, yeah. or four that was yeah. remaining mm. that I'd yeah. say I'd have the most in common with, yeah. Yeah, but never, uh, had any, uh, never had any well, issues. We just never really spoke that no, much. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. just, it was, yeah. Mm. It was Adam, what about you for, for your favourite moment? Oh, there's a couple, man. <laughs> Being the golden boy for Pamela Anderson and having that Ooh. over everyone was beautiful. Wow, yeah, that was... Um, that was cool. Being the best speed there, I'm sorry, like... And also, lifting her across the sand on the first oh, yeah. night was hilarious. Oh. Uh, I was on the front page of, like, Turkish newspapers and that. All of a sudden, I was Turkish, not Turkish. <laughs> uh, but, oh, no, he's one of our own. It's like, bro, that's cool for you to say then. Wow, you uh, touched it. But I think one of my best moments was after about... The fourth week, I stopped giving a shit so much because I didn't enjoy the process. And I remember just, I went mental and it was an amazing week. And it's hard to kind of pinpoint it. So there's the two pinpoints, yeah. like the PAMI thing, but then the main pinpoint would be like the final fourth to fifth week. I had such a good time. And then going out afterwards and just absolutely smashing life and getting paid to go to nightclubs at 19 is amazing so yeah, yeah. are you from turkey then uh no, no. turkish Cypriot and irish oh okay nice um, yeah, anton, Cyprus you... and Ireland. i don't know when you first went in the house anton i i, I remember i wasn't a fan and i was like yeah. nah, he, he's not cool but then there's yeah. something i would say halfway for your experience mm. a lot of people could relate to you and i don't know whether it's like you mentioned earlier maybe you just settled down. You weren't aware of the cameras as much. You just became yeah. really enjoyable to watch, like a nice guy. <laughs> and I think the whole public's opinion changed on you. So yeah. what would you put that down to? Did you just feel more relaxed? Were you less aware that you were on a show uh, as such? I think so. Um, I, a lot of people, most people say that when I came out, uh, to be fair. But I, I think naturally in life, it takes a while for you to understand me because I can come across as like too jokey, arrogant, cocky. 
um, at times because, but, but I'm never serious. I'm not, you know, I'm just messing about. And yeah. I think that when you're editing down a show into an hour from 24 hours of footage, it can be tricky, but I never once blamed the producers. Um, you know, I'd never wanted to be that person to do that. So I was happy with how I edited it, but it's just, yeah, I think maybe they were a bit nicer on me as time went on. Maybe I said less stupid things because <laughs> You know, you could go, mm. you, you, you can mm. go, all day. you can go all day, right? 24 hours. We, and a lot of the time, these two would admit, we were just sitting there doing nothing, just chilling out. We'd repeat the same conversations. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you, you're having conversations and I might, I might have come across really nice for 10 hours of the day, but then for one minute, I might say something stupid. That's going in. <laughs> yeah. That is going in. Whereas in, you know, the likes of Alex, she's not going to say anything that's sexist or derogatory or, you know, or... <laughs> Dickheadish, you know. She's How many times did you like get that. called in? How many times obviously did you get called in for the <laughs> You what? We lost him. What did he say? He, he said, "How many times were you called into the diary room?" For, yeah, I was calling. I was called in quite a few times, but yeah, <laughs> is uh, not 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 as many times as Jay. Like when he, you know, put shit in the fridge or tried to smoke banana skins and you know, <laughs> make a bong out of a what do you call it, a Listerine bottle. You know, he went in more than me, but yeah, they they called me in for wow. a few, a few things. Wow! <laughs> Did they do that whole thing where they say before you entered the house, the rules were explained to you, and then you just feel like a naughty child? <clears throat> yeah, you yeah. Feel like headmaster, yeah. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, they, they they wouldn't let you sleep. They, they, they don't like that. You have to stay awake. If we spoke to Housemates from the series, yeah. and they, they said that they felt they did that on purpose because the more tired Housemates became, the more likely there was going to be conflict. Did you feel mm -hmm. they would play with you in the sense of the lack of sleep, maybe not giving you as much food, just to try and cause a bit of tension? No, nah, I just wanted to fuck with us. The, the food, we survived on literally Frosted Flakes. Yeah. For like, and so bananas. We, we didn't win any food tasks. No. Like, oh, guys, I'll be back in two minutes. I'm just going to quickly go for a week. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. Alex, uh, you're right. You're right. When I think about it, we, we didn't have food for ages. We didn't have food for ages. Yeah, we really did. Like, oh, uh, whatever. We're on nutrition. Not that I would be yeah. so bothered back then. But I literally just made as long as I had a chocolate bar to eat, I, I, would, I was fine. Yeah. But the food that we had was diabolical. It was really bad. And then, like, and then we, when we did win a food task, Harry would order 500. Harry blew it. I think the only one we won was when Harry then blew it on yeah. uh, boxes of frosted flakes and bananas. Yeah. Don't, get me, don't get me wrong. I ate bananas. That was all right. Yeah, we survived. But how? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, so now what I'm going to ask you both is, um, um, uh, uh, Dan, when he comes back, is what life's been like for you since leaving house? And what do you do now for work? Are there any projects that you work on? So starting with... Um, Anton, because I see on your social media, you still stay quite busy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm always busy, to be fair. I, I don't know. Um, when I came out, I was still chasing, chasing the music dream, and I was still doing music with my mate. And um, we did that for a while. And um, because I, I shared the same manager as um, DJ Ironic when I came nice. out, so I, I, I was able to get, get myself into a lot of things and had meetings with like Iron Records and they set up shows for us and things were going well but then what happened was Come the in. guy that I was doing music with he quit um, because he felt like it turned into and something Big, Big Brother and the other guy so right because we were doing music before Big Brother so when I came out, it became all about Anton from Big Brother and him so he just quit and that made me sort of slow down the music so you know since then now I'm just um, you know working IT Two minutes ago, I work in IT, which I've been doing for around eight years. Um, and I am um, quite active on um, YouTube. So I've got my own YouTube channel. Hey, good man, uh, with Poet. Huh? With Poet. Not with Poet. With, uh, I've got a, a show with uh, Ironic, Hugh Wizzy, who's another YouTuber. Hugh Wizzy's me. good. He does <laughs> yeah, NFT. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do, I do a lot of YouTube, to be fair, on my channel. And, What's the uh, channel called? Uh, Idol Idol. So I-D-L-E, I-D-O-L. Um, but yeah, check it, check it out. It's a lot, there'll be a lot of content coming up. Um, I'm lucky enough to have uh, Hugh Wizzy and Ironic with me because... You Guys, know, like and subscribe. Yeah. And make sure you comment down below. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've both got quite a large following, so it's quite good. But yeah, um, awesome. you'll know, Lewis, that YouTube's it's, it's difficult to get the subscribers up and up and up. And, yeah. But you know, I like what you're doing. I looked for your channel. 
And um, oh, oh, sorry, my mate keeps messaging going. me. Sorry about the vibrations. Just That's okay. morning, we can't hear any. Um, but um, I don't know what have you been up to. What's life been like for you since leaving the house? What do you do now, uh, work wise? Okay, uh, work wise, I, I work for the government, which is a bit awkward. Uh, I run compliance and uh, operations, and uh, before that, I did support work for adults with autism and Asperger's and complex needs. And uh, yeah, man, just kind of settled into a normal life and uh, tried to, yeah, just try and find a bit of normality. I'm quite good at what I do, fortunately, so uh, I, I do okay. I'm like, able to afford a relatively nice lifestyle and... Uh, yeah, man, just I just I just kind of coast, man. I think all adults are just coasting, you know what I mean? So, uh, doing quite well. Uh, I've got a couple of investments here and there, but that's that's about it, man. Yeah, get Lord Sugar down uh, investments. <laughs> I know, I've, got, I've got three or four, I've got three or four investments that have done me quite well recently, so. Yeah. You're looking really well as well. I said that because I know you've been working on your fitness and stuff, and you, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've, I've got quite, not to make it too too low, but I got really depressed and low uh, last year, and then uh, I had to pull myself out of that, and then I uh, started working on my fitness, and I'm three three and a half stone down now. So looks really yeah. good. Thank you. Man. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. Thank you. And Alex, what about you? What's life been like since now? Because I know I was surprised when you said you don't obviously have social media because you were such a bubbly personality in that I would assume and maybe the social media life is something you would have liked. So to tell us why, you know, you, you know, left the house, you're not on social media, what do you do for work? Mm. Um, so from leaving the house, I um, moved down to Birmingham with Thomas and got a job um, on an airline. And oh. so I was like living down there, down like in Birmingham for like eight years. And then we went, the airline went bust. So oh. I wasn't, I was <coughs> no longer flying. Um, and then in during like 2015, I was struggling like really bad, like mentally. Um, so I had to then come back with home and be like with like with like some doctors and be with my mom and like be with just some like good people. Um, and then what have I been doing? And then I got a job um, selling cars. <coughs> so that is what I do. I sell cars. <laughs> oh, that what Tom, Tom does that now, doesn't he? Does he Tom do it? Um, he works a jack in it. Jaguar, what's a Jaguar? Yeah, what's a Jag, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I don't know, because I've, I've not supported him for, like, for, for years, like, a oh, long, yeah, long yeah. time. Oh, but, yeah, so I try and keep off the, um, I, I just, I try and keep off social media and just get on with, with my life. I was struggling as well during 15, like, with my, um, with my sexuality as well. And then yeah. towards, towards the end of it, like, I come out as lesbian. And that, okay. that gave me, like, a lot of, a much better, like, better outlook on life i felt a bit more like more me good on you girl um, good on you yeah. <laughs> well, as, as, as opposed to you bisexual or no like, like a, he's a lesbian, lesbian now bro yeah. oh, oh okay okay oh oh yeah, it was, yeah. Tom, was, tom was bisexual wasn't he tom was yes yeah, yeah tom was bi yeah <clears throat> oh, okay okay oh okay yeah it's so tom nice to see alex congrats. though you seem very content it's nice to hear you talk because you've just got a nice um confidence and strength when you're speaking at the moment so that's nice and i've got to say with all of you because when you know i had three on this lineup i was a bit uh, gutted at first that we didn't have more but actually talking to all three of you has been amazing <laughs> because you're genuinely Aww. all really nice people like you're just nice to talk to open and honest so thank you so much for taking part i really appreciate it oh thank you you're, you're a lovely thank person you. yourself mate yeah no, Good, cheers, thank you very much yeah <laughs> There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that reunion. And don't forget to come back on Friday where we are reuniting housemates from the 13th series of Big Brother. Don't forget if you've missed any of the episodes so far from series one onwards, look at the link in the description below and you can catch up on all of the reunions.